Hi, welcome to JC Best Schools International, A class, and this is for English language. Today's topic is on uh, writing articles for publication. Writing articles for publication. Now, let me ask how many of us have ever picked up a newspaper or a magazine or a journal to read? Probably to even look, take a look at it. What do you think you're seeing in them? That's what we're discussing about today, writing articles for publication. So those things you read on newspapers and medias and all of that are on the classified as articles. Be it poem, be it uh, writing, a story writing, be it um, a discuss on subject matter like life, like education, all of these are what to call articles. And that's what we're going to look at today. But the question is, many of us don't know, do we know how to write articles? Many of us still do not know how to write articles. And that is why we are treating this topic today. Yeah. So, what is expected of us at the end of today? At the end of this lesson, we should be able to define article writing. B, identify tips for writing articles. And C, write articles for publication on given topics. Again, we are expected to learn at the end of this lesson how to define article writing, identify tips for writing articles, and write articles for publication on given topics. If you're ready, I'm ready. All right, the first question on our mind should be what is an article? We enjoy reading some giving work from writers, stories, uh, public opinions on issues, and we don't know what they are. They are all articles. So if you want to learn how to write an article, then you need to know what an article is. So an article writing is a piece of non-fictional writing that deals on a subject matter such as a story, report, opinion piece or entry in a newspaper, magazine, journal, dictionary, encyclopedia, etc. Meaning that these pieces of writing are not fictions. That is, again, they are real life things. They are real to life. Now, this piece of writing deal on human behavior, human existence. That's why we say they are non-fictional writing. Therefore, again, if you're asked to define an article, you can say it's a piece of non-fictional writing that deals on a subject matter such as a story, report, opinion piece, entry in newspaper magazine, etc. Now, do remember that this piece of writing, or otherwise called articles, aims at educating and informing its readers. These articles aim at educating and informing its readers. So one needs to have a good knowledge of the topic he or she is writing on. So before you can say you want to write an article, you must have a good knowledge of the topic or the field of study or the subject matter you are going to write on. Again, Let's look at the various topics uh, we can write uh, articles on. Various aspects of life we can write articles on. We have child marriage, politics, overpopulation, juvenile delinquency, education, technological advancement, and a whole lot of others. These are some of the topics you can actually write topics or uh, articles on. Now, this is an example of an article, what it looks like, how it's, look, how it's going to look like. But before we discuss this example, Let's quickly look at uh, the uh, features, what you will see to say or to know that this is an article or what you see to classify such a writing as an article. These features can also be known as um, characteristics or traits. Now what are they? Let's look at them quickly. It takes a title, uh, every article takes a title. When you open your newspaper, when you want to read or your journal, you see that the write-ups always carry titles. These are articles. They have headings. All right, headings are giving brief account of what the story is all about. So 
you must give a specific title to your own uh, article each time you want to write. Also, it has an introduction of the subject matter. Every article has an introduction of the subject matter. In this part, you explain or you describe or even uh, as, uh, uh, define the subject matter as the case may be by you. All right? And we have this under the introductory paragraph, <coughs> which is always the first paragraph in article writing. Also, we discuss these causes and effects, public opinion on subject matters, steps on how to solve or do some things, especially experiment. These are characteristics of article writing. Now, it contains remedies or recommendations to the issue at hand or are uh, you discussing? And this is where we talk about the concluding paragraph. We're going to look at this later when we start looking at how to write articles properly. Now, it contains facts on the topic under discussion. Remember we said these are true to life write-ups. They are non-fictional. That means they are real. They are not invented. So every article you write must contain fact. All right? The tense is usually simple present tense, but could be in past tense if it's a story. For instance, if you were asked to write on um, the accident you witnessed, or you're asked to write on uh, the, the place you visited, uh, maybe in your excursion, all of these will take past tense because they are in storyline. All right? They are in narrative form. They are in the past. So, but usually the article takes um, simple present to write. Now, another feature is that it is logical. This is one of the major features of the article. It is logical. It means the ideas are arranged in a sequential manner, right? And it's meaningful. Okay, so you don't, you don't just double into it and start writing. You must make sure your work is logical. It's also a formal writing. Every article you read is a formal writing. It's not like uh, the informal letter where you can put in some slangs and the rest of them. No, it is a formal writing. All right, it informs or educates and it can be entertaining, like I told you earlier on. The aim, the sole aim of articles is to educate or pass information, which means to inform, but it can also be entertaining when it comes to the story aspect of it. Okay, and then it can contain citations, people's work, you can cite people's work, you can cite people's, work, people's examples on the topic you are talking about. So every citation you're going to pick, every piece you're going to pick from the right, from any other writer must agree, must relate to whatever you're going to talk about. Yes. Okay. Now, settle down. Let's look at how to write articles. Okay, don't forget we said that these articles are uh, non-fictional pieces of writing that uh, deal on subject matters. So if we must write this well, we must learn the tips, the cues to great writing in articles. Now, what are these uh, writer First, you must understand the given question. There's no two ways about it. You must understand the given question. If a question is asking you to do a particular thing, you must understand what that question is addressing you to do. Because without the understanding of the question, you aim at ending up writing something totally different. So first, understand the given question. You must have a good knowledge of the subject matter and the audience to be addressed. You must have a good knowledge of the subject matter and the audience to be addressed. So you need to, you need to uh, gather information about the topic you are given to write on, if you must write on it. You need to gather, ask questions, brainstorm, read about it uh, on the internet or uh, from books because your knowledge about it determines how well you write it. And also don't forget your audience, because your audience are the people to read it. So you must put them into perspective to, in order to use the language that will uh, be suitable for them. That's when we talk about diction. So articles deal more on diction, choosing the right word to be used. All right? Okay, make an outline of the topic you are to write on. Yes, this is very, very important. An outline is very, very important to every article writing or work you're going to do. An article is a step, it's a guideline. It makes you have a, 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 a neat and organized work and also an interesting work. All right, so you need to have an outline, an outline, plan an outline on that topic. The title, the topic sentences in bullet form, the spot sentences under them, you need to have this because without it, you may end up giving a disorganized uh, work on article writing. 
All right? Cross check your points on the outline to know which is to come first. This is because your article must be logical, meaningful, and understandable. So plan your work in a way that the priorities come first. The points you want to come first should be readjusted under your outline, and that will guide you on what to do next. Write your title in acceptable format, all capitals or capital nation. We're going to go back to that in um, the sample we have earlier on. All right, write your titles in acceptable format. Now, introduce your subject matter effectively. Now, in this, you can either define or explain. All right, and still on this. Um, uh, introductory paragraph uh, or the aspect of introducing your subject matter, you can state the causes in points, not in explanation, in points or steps to the matter or to the to the uh, topic you're writing on. Right? Again, under the effectively uh, effective uh, introduction, you define or you explain or you describe the subject matter. You touch some topic, uh, some uh, topics or points you want to talk about it. All right, and so this will give you a very wonderful uh, introduction of your article. Now listen, do not overwrite. You can have two to three sentences in that introductory paragraph. All right, and then you must also discuss your point exhaustively. Now every well-developed paragraph takes three to four sentences. Yes, again, I say that. that every well-developed paragraph takes about three to four sentences, including a topic sentence. This is because you may want to cite examples, you may want to illustrate something, and now when you have a topic sentence, you need to pack it up with two or three or four other sentences to make that point clearer. So, you must exhaustively talk about your articles, all right, or your uh, points in your paragraphs. All right, now, conclude your writing effectively. This is a recap of all the major points you've talked about. It may not be all the major points, but many of the major points you've talked about. For instance, if you have talked about three uh, causes of uh, child marriage, you can recap these points in your concluding paragraph. Now, you can talk about two or more or effects and remedy. Also, remedy can also be discussed in this place. Remedy means uh, solutions to that problem you have discussed earlier on. Okay, so your concluding paragraphs and some other aspect that you must pay attention to. You must learn how to conclude your work effectively. Recapping all that you have said in two to three sentences, you're done with that concluding paragraph. All right, you can cite people's work earlier. I told you, you can lift some work related to your topic. You can lift some statements of great writers. You can lift some quotes of great writers. But don't forget to quote them, to also uh, mention their names, because it's a credit to their work, all right? So that's um, what you need to do. Give examples if and when required. You can cite examples if and when required, when necessary, all right? And then proofread, which is the most important thing that some students don't do. Proofread your work, meaning go through and edit your errors. What errors? Errors from spellings, errors from punctuation usage, errors from capitalization and grammatical errors. All of this, you must go through your work. This is what make, uh, this is what make um, people great writers. Great writers are those who go through their work to correct errors. Okay? So you need to go through after each writing, not just on article, on every writer you do. After every writing, go through to dot your I's and cross your T's, which is very, very important. Okay? All right. Now, before we do the assignment, let's look at uh, the sample uh, earlier given. Now, this sample is a very wonderful sample because here we have the title and the, and the introduction capture. Now, the title earlier on I said, can either be written in capital letters or capital letters or capital nations. Look at this. Ethno-religious crisis. Now, which one do we prefer students to use, especially when it comes to exam situations? It's all capitals. You know why? There are less rules for it. It's all like the capital nations, where you need to underline after writing, you need to capitalize some words, and some words will not start capital letters. That has a lot of rules. A lot of lot of rules that if you fail to obey them you'll be penalized but look at all capital letters there is no special thing about it 
You write every letter with capital letter, and you dot with the line. And that is it. So, uh, which one will I advise you? Use your um, all capital letters when you write for exams or tests or even assignments. Now, look at the introduction of that word. We have about two to three sentences there. Today, Africa is laced with some of the most obtained conflicts. Most of them construed from differences in religion and ethnic identities. Now, that is the explanation to the topic. That is uh, a description to the topic. It forms a background in the minds of the reader on what you're talking about. So, using this format, you need to um, learn how to write articles. Articles are easy to write. These are your work. You're going to look at this and try to work on them and make sure you do them properly. Now, you can send your answers to the Google Classroom where they'll be assessed and then give you, we'll be giving you feedback from there too. And don't forget to attend your classes on your Zoom and your Google classes as stipulated on the timetable. Once again, hope you have learned today that articles are a non-fictional uh, piece of writing that deals with human endeavors. Okay? And then you have also seen the steps to writing good articles effectively. And then you have also learned how to write these articles by employing these um, uh, tips effectively. All right. See you some, some of the time. This is Jude Aligame. Thanks for watching and learning. Bye.